Welcome back to Top 10 Magazine. My name is Tom, and in this video, we want to delve into the fascinating world of modern piracy. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Top 10 videos like this one. Number 1. MV Maersk Alabama Hijacking. The MV Maersk Alabama, a US flagged container ship, was hijacked by Somali pirates in the Indian Ocean, approximately 380 kilometers southeast of the Somali port of Isle. The pirates boarded the ship on April 8, 2009, while it was en route to Mombasa, Kenya. Captain Richard Phillips instructed his crew to hide in the engine room, but he was taken hostage by the pirates. The U.S. Navy responded swiftly and dispatched the guided missile destroyer USS Bainbridge to the scene. Captain Phillips was held hostage on a lifeboat while negotiations between the pirates and U.S. officials took place. The situation escalated when the pirates pointed firearms at Captain Phillips, prompting a decision by the U.S. Navy to launch a rescue operation. April 12, 2009, U.S. Navy SEALs conducted a daring nighttime operation, shooting and killing three pirates, and successfully rescuing Captain Phillips. The fourth pirate was taken into custody. The incident received widespread media coverage and highlighted the dangers of piracy in the region. Number 2. Sirius Star Hijacking. The MV Sirius Star, a Saudi-owned oil tanker, was hijacked by Somali pirates on November 15, 2008. The vessel was carrying approximately 2 million barrels of crude oil at the time of the hijacking, making it one of the largest oil tankers ever captured by pirates. The hijacking occurred in the Indian Ocean, about 450 nautical miles off the coast of Kenya. The pirates demanded a substantial ransom for the release of the vessel and its crew, which included nationals from the Philippines, Croatia, Poland, Saudi Arabia, and the UK. After several weeks of negotiations, the ship and crew were eventually released on January 9, 2009, after a reported payment of a multi-million dollar ransom. The incident highlighted the vulnerability of maritime trade routes in the region and the need for increased security measures. Number 3. MV Suez Hijacking. The MV Suez, a Panamanian-flagged cargo ship, was hijacked by Somali pirates in the notorious Gulf of Aden on August 2, 2010. The vessel was carrying a cargo of cement from Pakistan to Eritrea when it was captured. The pirates held the crew of 22 Egyptians, 6 Indians, 4 Pakistanis, and 1 Sri Lankan hostage for nearly 9 months. During their captivity, the crew faced challenging conditions, including threats of violence and insufficient supplies. After prolonged negotiations, the ship's release was secured in early June 2011, reportedly through the payment of a ransom. The incident highlighted the dangers faced by merchant vessels navigating through piracy-prone waters off the coast of Somalia. Number 4. MV Albedo Hijacking. The MV Albedo, a Malaysian-owned cargo ship, was hijacked by Somali pirates in the Indian Ocean on November 26, 2010. The vessel's crew, consisting of 23 people from different nationalities, was taken hostage. The pirates demanded a ransom for the release of the crew and the vessel. During the captivity, the crew faced difficult conditions and uncertainty about their fate. In July 2013, the MV Albedo sank near the Somali coast after a fire broke out on board. The circumstances surrounding the sinking remain unclear, and some of the crew members' fate remained unknown. The incident highlighted the ongoing threat of piracy in the region and its potential consequences for hijacked vessels and their crews. Number 5. MV Fina Hijacking. The MV Fina, a Ukrainian cargo ship, was hijacked by Somali pirates in the Indian Ocean on September 25, 2008. The vessel was carrying a cargo of 33 Soviet-designed T-72 tanks, as well as other military equipment and ammunition. The cargo attracted significant attention and raised concerns about the potential use of the weapons by armed groups in the region. The pirates demanded a ransom for the release of the crew and the cargo. After several weeks of negotiations, a ransom was reportedly paid, and the crew and cargo were eventually released on February 5, 2009. The incident highlighted the complex challenges of dealing with piracy in the region and the potential consequences of pirates gaining access to military-grade weapons. Don't forget to like and share this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to our channel for more top 10 videos like this one. Number 6. MV Arctic Sea Incident. The MV Arctic Sea, a Finnish cargo ship, 
departed from Finland carrying a cargo of sawn timber on July 23, 2009. However, soon after entering the English Channel, the ship's communications were disabled, and it disappeared from tracking systems. After weeks of uncertainty, the Russian Navy located the vessel off the coast of West Africa on August 17, 2009. The Russian Navy intercepted the ship and arrested eight hijackers, who were later identified as Russian and Estonian nationals. The incident attracted international attention and led to various theories and speculations about the nature of the ship's cargo and the reasons behind the hijacking. Some theories suggested the vessel was carrying a secretive cargo or that it was involved in covert operations. However, no conclusive evidence supporting these theories was presented, and the exact circumstances of the incident remain unclear. Number 7. MSC Melody Hijacking Attempt. On April 25, 2009, Somali pirates attempted to hijack the Italian cruise ship, MSC Melody, off the coast of Seychelles in the Indian Ocean. The pirates approached the vessel in two small skiffs and attempted to board the ship. However, the crew took evasive maneuvers, and the pirates were unable to board the vessel. Additionally, a nearby EU naval force warship, the French frigate FS Florial, responded to the distress call and dispatched helicopters to the scene. The presence of the naval vessel and the crew's actions thwarted the hijacking attempt, and the pirates eventually abandoned their pursuit. The incident highlighted the potential risks to passenger ships operating in piracy-prone waters and the importance of naval patrols in deterring pirate attacks. Number 8. MT Orkham Harmony Hijacking. On June 11, 2015, the MT Orkham Harmony, a Malaysian oil tanker, was hijacked by armed pirates off the coast of Malaysia. The pirates overpowered the crew, disabled the ship's communications, and took control of the vessel. The pirates siphoned off part of the vessel's cargo and kidnapped some crew members before escaping. The incident prompted a major search and rescue operation involving multiple agencies from Malaysia and Indonesia to track down the pirates and rescue the hostages. On June 19, 2015, the Malaysian Navy and the Indonesian Maritime Security Agency located the vessel and arrested 13 pirates. The hostages were found alive and safely rescued. The incident highlighted the ongoing security challenges in Southeast Asian waters, particularly with regard to oil tanker hijackings. Number 9. Superferry 14 Bombing. On February 27, 2004, the Philippines-based passenger ferry, Superferry 14, caught fire and sank in Manila Bay following a powerful explosion. The explosion occurred shortly after the vessel departed from Manila, en route to Bacolod City. The incident resulted in the deaths of more than 100 people and caused panic and fear regarding the security of maritime transportation in the Philippines. The militant group Abu Sayyaf claimed responsibility for the bombing. Abu Sayyaf, a terrorist organization based in the southern Philippines, had previously been involved in various acts of violence, including kidnappings, bombings, and other attacks. The Superferry 14 bombing underscored the risks posed by terrorist groups to maritime security in the region. Number 10. Thai Tanker Hijackings. In 2011, there were several incidents of hijackings involving oil tankers in Southeast Asian waters, particularly off the coasts of Malaysia and Indonesia. In these incidents, armed pirates targeted oil tankers and their valuable cargo. The pirates would typically hijack the vessels and siphon off part of the cargo before escaping. The tankers were later abandoned, often with some crew members taken hostage. These incidents raised concerns about the vulnerability of merchant vessels, including tankers, to pirate attacks in the region. Maritime authorities from the affected countries worked to enhance security measures and coordinate efforts to combat piracy in their waters. Want to see more top 10 videos like this one? Subscribe now and join our community.